Hello everybody. Uh, today I am going to show you how to make some really easy baby socks. I am using worsted weight yarn. This is Karen Simply Soft and I believe it is Heather Gray. Let me check. Gray Heather, excuse me. Uh, now I have a set of five double pointed needles but I'm only using four of them. This is size 3.75 uh, they're the Clover Takumi, so US 5 double pointed needles. This is a really simple pattern here. So I'm going to start by casting on 28, and I'm just going to use our simple cast on. Okay, so we have all of our all of our stitches on there. Now we're going to transfer seven onto our first needle. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we're gonna do fourteen onto the next. Okay, now just make sure you have seven on that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we have all 28 of our stitches. We have seven, 14, and seven. Okay, next we're going to join in the round. So put your double pointed needle through the first stitch there. Make sure you have no twists. You really want to make sure of that before you start. And then yarn over. And knit one. Now you're going to yarn over. And purl one. Oh, got it hooked on my needle there. Okay, so yarn over. Knit one, yarn over, purl one, and continue doing this around, and you're going to do it four times. Okay, so knit one, then yarn over. Always make sure you yarn over, even I make that mistake. Knit one. one. Knit one. Go to the next. Purl one. So continue around and do it for four rounds and then we'll get back to finishing our leg. Alright guys, so I have my four rows done. As you can see, it's starting to get a little bit of length on it. It's very soft. Okay, so now we're going to start working on the leg. So what we're going to do is insert our hook into the first stitch. Yarn over, knit, knit, and knit. And we're just going to keep knitting all the way across and we're going to do that for six rounds. The, the sock might have a little bit too much length for a newborn, but after a few months they're going to be super soft, they'll be really warm, and hopefully uh, whichever little toddler you're giving them to, uh, hopefully they like socks. I know plenty of kids who don't like socks and working in a daycare socks are kind of important <laughs> so hopefully uh, whoever you give them to they like the socks so just keep going around like this and you should be done with those six rounds in no time all 
Alright you guys, so we finished up doing the, the uh, leg here. As you can see I have six stitches all nice and lined up. Very soft, perfect for little baby or toddler feet. So now we're going to go on to the heel. And uh, sometimes this part can be a little troublesome, but don't worry about it too much. Shouldn't be that bad. So we're going to divide our stitches from the three needles onto two needles. And to do this, uh, we just have to knit across needle two, which is our instep. So let's knit across needle one first. Okay. And we're going to knit across needle two. Okay, so now we're going to, let me adjust the camera because I noticed that I keep popping out of place. Okay. So we knit across needle two, which is our in step, 14 stitches. All right, now we're going to slip the stitches from needle one and needle three, needle three together onto one needle. This is going to be the heel needle. So we're going to slip Pretty much you're going to slip across and just keep slipping them over until you have all of them onto your first needle. Okay, so now all of them are all on one needle. Alright, we're going to put down one needle right there. Okay. Now we're going to work on the heel stitches only. And uh, those are just the stitches uh, from needle one and two, or one and three combined. So there are 14 on this needle and 14 on this one. Okay, so we have our needle inserted into the first stitch and we're ready to start our heel. Okay, so you want to slip one as if to purl, okay? Slip one as if to purl and then knit one. And we're going to continue to do that across the row. So, continue to knit across the entire row. You may have to adjust your uh, second needle there that's holding the instep. Uh, every once in a while it can be pushed back and you really don't want to lose those stitches. That would not be good. So we've done our first row for the heel. Now we're going to turn our work. And we turn our work so that the wrong side, the inside of the sock, right there, is facing us. So now you're going to slip one as if to purl, and you're going to purl across this entire row. And do that until you reach the end. Don't forget to 
curl that last stitch there. Now we're going to turn our work and we're going to do the same thing that we did for row one, which is slip and then knit. Okay, so remember to always slip one purl wise and then knit across. And we're going to continue to do that for about uh, four rows. Okay? Okay, so we've finished up our rows for our heel. So we're all done with that. Okay, next we're going to start turning our heel. And this part is where you really want to make sure you're counting and being very specific about what you're doing. So, purl first. You want to purl first, okay? Oh, wrong side. So you're going to purl. Oh, watch my other needle. I'm going to put that over here. Okay, so I'm going to start with purling, and I'm going to purl nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, so I've finished doing nine. Let me adjust my camera again. Oh my goodness, it's everywhere. Okay, so we have our nine pearls. Now we're going to purl two together. So just pick up these two right here, yarn over, pull through, bring off the needle, and you have your two pearls. So turn over. Oh, excuse me, you want to purl one more. And this is why I have the instructions in the uh, description there, because I tend to mess up sometimes. So make sure you're paying attention to those and not, not as much just me. But I'm here for a guide and that's about it. Okay, so now we're going to slip one. And we're going to knit five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so we have five. Now we're gonna knit two together. So just like with the purl, you're gonna just knit through two stitches, pull off the hook, you're done. All right, then knit one and turn. Slip one. Purl six. Purl one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. We're going to purl two together. Purl one, and turn your work around. Slip one, knit seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, Okay, so now we have seven. Now we're going to knit two together. Knit 
note one. And there you have it. Pretty simple. Okay, so now we have our uh, we have all of our stitches up here ready to work on the gusset. Uh, that's pretty much just a transfer from the heel stitches to the bottom of the foot. Uh, and I took my instep stitches, my 14 instep stitches, and I put seven onto one needle and seven onto the other. So now we're going to pick up and knit along the side right here. And we're going to pick up four. So put your spare needle into the first stitch. Let me get kind of close to show you. Pick up your first stitch right here. And then knit it. So put it through both strands. It's kind of tricky to get it in the first one, but the first one is very important. Now some, some sock knitters won't do the first one, but I prefer to do the first one uh, just to decrease the chances of any hole being in there. Yarn over. Go through. There's your first one. Go into the second one, it should be a little bit wider. Go into that second one right here. And knit. That's two. Go into this one. Knit. That's three. Pick up this one right here, knit, and that's four. Alright, and you're going to notice from having all of those stitches picked up that you have almost like a bump going on at the end of your sock. It's really starting to look like a heel. And that's pretty exciting. So I'm going to go back down here. I'm going to knit across the stitches on needle number two. So that would be this one right here. Okay, so you finished doing that. Go on to the next one. And knit across. Now we're going to pick up and knit the stitches along this side. And we're going to pick up four, so it'll be, get it close, one, two, three, and right in here we're going to have number four. Okay. So first you want to pick up this one, so pick that up, bring your needle three over, knit one, pick up stitch number two, Okay. 
Sorry guys, I ended up getting cut off. I'm using a camera right now. I'm not using a webcam or a, a camcorder or anything like that. So um, it has a five minute time span on it. So uh, what I've just been doing is picking up and knitting along this whole side right here. Okay, I'm on to my second to last one. So this is number three. I'm just going to pick it up and Net. And then finally this one. Right, so we have all these perfect little stitches all done nice and neat. Uh, the next thing that we're going to do is just uh, rearrange all the stitches on our needles and I'll, I'll put that in the description so don't worry about it and I'll see you when I get back from doing that. Alright you guys, I was going to um, I was going to leave this part out but I think for for beginners this is very important to really see for yourself, okay? So, when I'm rearranging all of these, I'm going to pick up this stitch right here on the uh, first needle that's on the heel. And I'm going to knit one, two, three, four. I'm going to count how many I have on this side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Now I'm going to count how many I have over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So at 11, and I want to add these somewhere. 12, 13, 14, 15. So I have 15 right here, and then I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 on this side. So what I really want to do, um, to make it easier, I'm going to get 7. I have my 7 over here, and I have, I believe it was 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, yes, 11. So what I'm going to do is pick up the stitches from this needle that has 11. Ten, nine, eight, and seven. So I have seven on this needle. Now what I'm going to do, and don't get confused, this is just trial and error. I'm going to transfer these seven over to my second needle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So let's see how many I have on this needle. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That's perfect. That's what we want. We want 14 across here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So what I'm going to do is just take this needle, I want to even them out, and I'm just going to knit one over there, so that the center is my starting point. The center of the heel, I want that to be the beginning of my round. So now I have my first needle with nine, second needle has fourteen, third needle has nine, 
And don't worry because all of these right here are going to be gone at some point, okay? They're going to be, um, we're going to go around and we're just going to reduce the number of stitches that we have. Uh, and then we're going to continue on with our sock. So let's get started on that part. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to do is knit around once. So just knit all the way around. That's all we're doing is knitting. Very soothing, non-stressful knitting. Now some of your stitches are going to be very tight because of the gusset, but don't worry about that, it'll loosen up with time. So going to our end step of 14, excuse my yarn, it's not coming out, it's a bit of a snag. which was apparently from a leftover crochet hook that I stuck in there. So lesson learned, don't stick crochet hooks into balls of yarn. <laughs> so knit across our 14 stitches here. And just continue knitting all the way around until you get to the next row. All right, so we've knitted around once. Now we're gonna start our decrease. We're gonna knit along the first needle. So knit one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, we've reached the last three, and what we're going to do is knit two together. And then knit one. So knit across your instep right here, and then we'll decrease along this end. Okay, so we've knitted to the end of our 14 stitches on the instep. Now we're going to decrease on this needle. So we're going to knit one. And then we are going to slip, slip, and then picking up this right here, we're going to bring it over and knit. And then just knit to the end. can really see it coming along now, huh? Alright, so you want to repeat those last two rows. You're going to knit around once more, and then you're going to do one round with the decrease in it. And that should bring you to a total of 28 stitches. Now don't don't be afraid to count. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on this one, so that means it just needs one more decrease. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on this one, and that one only needs one more decrease as well, so that means we're on the right track. So knit around once, and then knit around a second time while you're doing the decrease, okay? 
Okay, so we've done all of our decreases. We've knitted around. And now we're ready to do one more little piece before uh, finishing up our sock. So now we're just going to do the, uh, pretty much, we're just going to knit around until it reaches the length of the foot. So now I'm going to use my hand as an example. We're knitting about, uh, let's say that this is the heel right here, and this is the gusset. We're down to maybe around here for the gusset, and around here for the heel. We want to knit around there so that we have just a few little, uh, few little centimeters of toes sticking out. We really don't want too much toe sticking out, but we want enough so that we can decrease and make a nice tip at the end of the sock. So all you're going to do for this, uh, for these next few rounds is knit around until you have come to a size that you think is appropriate for a baby sock. Uh, so I'm probably going to do mine at around um, at around six. So I'm going to do six rows. Uh, you can either do six or you can do seven. Uh, if it's a really short foot, you can do five. Uh, I would I would really suggest not going any lower than five though, because even that seems like a really uh, short amount of rows. Um, but I would highly suggest around the six through eight row area. So uh, again, it depends on the baby's foot. So just continue to knit that out and then we'll start our decrease. Alright, so we've done our stitches and all of our rows and we're ready to start decreasing for the toe. So again, this part requires some counting, so make sure that you have enough um, enough time to spend on doing the toe so that you don't lose count because you really don't want that to happen now. Okay, so on needle one, we're going to knit across the needle until three stitches remain. So one, two, three, four, and we have our three stitches. We're going to knit two together. And then knit one. Go to our next needle. We're going to knit one. We're going to knit two together. Put my camera up some. There we go. We're going to knit to the last three. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay. Now we're going to knit two together again. So yes, we're going to knit two together on that one, get that needle through. Um, kind of odd, but we are going to knit two together twice along this gusset right here. Okay, So make sure you're following that direction, even if it seems weird, it's, um, it's just something that we do for this, for this pattern. Now we're going to knit one. We're going to knit two together, and we're going to knit to the end of this needle. 
So now we're back at the beginning and we're ready to start our next row. Our next row we're just going to knit across, so no decreasing on this one. So we'll knit all the way across, each and every one, for this row. And you're going to continue doing that. You're going to repeat those last two rows, or these these two rows, so the decrease row and the knit row. Uh, you're going to repeat those for a total of four times, or excuse me, three times. So that's going to pretty much give you a um, I would estimate around, well, yeah, you're going to be doing these rows uh, three times each after the second row right here. So uh, just do it six more times. That'll so give you six more rows. And you should be left with, um, with two stitches on needle one and needle three. And then four stitches on needle two. And we'll get back to that in a few minutes. I'll finish this up and then I'll show you how to finish up your sock and then you can go on to the next one. Alright you guys, so I forgot to include this in the last part, but whenever you get down to, um, to these stitches right here, you'll have three on number one you should have six on number two and you should have three on number three. Um, I said that you were supposed to do, uh, you were supposed to repeat those rounds until you get down to the last two and I gave you an estimate of around six times uh, after you've done the first two. Anyways, um, the thing is, uh, whenever you get down to here, you really need to add on only just one more row. Okay, so whenever you get these three on the first needle, you know that it's time to do this. So what we're going to do is knit these first two together. And then knit this one. You can see we have two on here now. And then we're going to knit one on needle two and then knit two together and then knit two together again I'm not going to knit any single stitch between there and then knit one Now turn and go to your third needle. You're going to knit two together. And then knit one. And there you have it. Cute little baby sock. So now we just need to um, finish this off and uh, we're, I'm going to use a crochet hook to stitch it together. I find that way easiest for me, um, but you can do it any way that you want. So I'm going to show you my technique for uh, binding off, but if you have your own technique or if you feel more comfortable using a um, like a large sewing needle or even a yarn needle, go ahead and do that. Uh, but I'm going to show how to do it with a crochet hook. And you can just use any kind of crochet hook. I'm using a size 5 or a size F. So let's get to that part. Alright, so I'm going to I'm going to knit 
these two stitches that are on my needle number one. I'm going to knit these two. So one, two, So I have just this. I should have four on each on each uh, needle. Let me go run and get a pair of scissors. I forgot a pair of scissors, so let me go run and get those. Alright, so I got my pair of scissors. I have my project. Now I'm going to just cut a long piece of yarn. I mean, not too long, you don't want to waste too much. And I'm just going to snip it and drop it. Just my camera thumb. Alright. So I'm going to slide so you can see. I'm going to slide my hook through this, through this stitch first, and then through the one with the working yarn. I'm going to yarn over my hook, and I'm going to pull through both. I'm going to pull my yarn through, and there's my first stitch. So you can take that first one off and just tighten it a little bit. Go to your next stitch, pick it up, go to the stitch across. Yarn over your hook, pull through, slide off your needle, and pull. Now, if you're really good at using this technique and you know what you're doing you can easily slide your hooks out um, I wouldn't suggest that for those who are just beginning uh, mostly because if you lose that stitch you're gonna have to go back and get it and sometimes I uh, just it, it really won't work out for the better so pull that through your stitches and you got a nice little toe. Okay, so pull that yarn through, tighten it some. I'm going to turn my sock inside out. I'm going to stick the hook through. And don't worry, it's not going to create a hole. Um, and I'm going to grab that yarn. I'm going to grab that yarn from the other side. And I'm just going to pull it through to the opposite. Pull it on through, pull it tight, and your stitches should come with it. Now if you want to, you can go back through and um, you can rework those last few stitches just to get a tighter seam. Uh, I would highly suggest doing it. Uh, I tend to do that with my socks and it, it just helps to prevent it from coming undone. But whenever you're doing that, you want to pull the yarn through like I just did. And then you're going to grab that piece of yarn and kind of roll it up like that. Put your hook through, pull it through, and you have a nice little knot. Okay? So just go along and continue to do that, and uh, if you see any holes, 
from the seams, just pick up that stitch where the hole is and uh, fix it up. Don't be, don't be scared of doing that. It's not going to come out looking bad. I'm only going to backtrack on two of them. And I'm going to snip my yarn kind of far down. Flip my sock inside out again. And I've got a so you should have your toe finished. And now we're going to turn it up like this. And I'm going to use my crochet hook, or again, if you have a needle, you can use that. And I'm just going to weave in the end. little bit right there and you've got the cutest little baby sock now if you are looking to uh, just purchase a pair or if you if you're new to knitting and you can't really get in you're trying to get these done for somebody I have them for sale on my Etsy website it's Etsy.com slash shop slash artsy alexis and the link should be in the description so feel free to go there if you just want to purchase a pair of them instead uh, I have them in various colors you can get them in pinks or blues or uh, reds um, white, green, gray, black, whatever you want uh, pretty much any Karen Simply Soft color is available so feel free to do that if you want to uh, there will be this exact pattern right here. Okay, so uh, if the sock doesn't fit your baby or the toddler that is going to, uh, just let me know and we can try to work something out. You know, returns are, returns are available for special cases, so uh, don't feel afraid to uh, ask for a refund if they are not fitting but they should fit pretty much any child. So have fun with it. Enjoy, and thank you for watching. If you're interested in more of my videos, you can subscribe if you want to. Just click the button right next to the video, and uh, it would be greatly appreciated. So thank you for uh, watching my first video.